put a 10th anniversary next to a 20th anniversary. And if we let it sit for a while, that's how you get a 30th anniversary. Anyone? Anyone? False. False, false, false. False. Um, wow, that was... That bombed harder than Nagasaki. <laughs> Learn your history, folks. Are you, are you doomed to be repeated? You're a shooter. Oh, I guess two was enough. All right, enough of the World War II jokes. No, wow. rough crowd, rough crowd. Um, I didn't do it. Fact, I didn't do it. Military industrial complex. So. But anyways, um, here we are. I'm uh, Podomo. Uh, not a brand I'm crazy about. Although it's not like it's not like it's not like it's a garbage brand. Like they, you know, they make quality products and good construction and you know nice bands and. Um, they're available generally, obviously, except for the 30th. Um, and, and they work, and, and I never I never dogged them on their price points, and I never dogged them on their uh, construction, right? So I'm honest. The issues I've had with them uh, was just not a huge fan of their, uh, a lot of their profile choices, or just the way the cigar hits me, right? So um, the 20th Maduro, though, um, I also think a factor in the past of some of the Madonas I've had. Perhaps, uh, you know, you buy Madomo, which is a common cigar, at a lounge, and it's been sitting there in a way too moist environment, and uh, and maybe you smoke it right away, and maybe you just get a shit cigar that's waterlogged, and, and uh, you know, it's what it is. Well, this one uh, was a fresh box at my guy's lounge, that, uh, uh, and the wrapper looks really solid on that. Now this, I never, I never seen them, and I've never had them in this size. This is the smaller 20th anniversary Maduro, uh, and he only had it for $8.99. So at that price point, for some ten dollars, uh, nine bucks for a Busto box press, um, the wrapper great quality on that is really nice. Um, so I'm hoping. Uh, there was a pungent smell from the foot. I'm hoping this size, with this blend, maybe you'll have a really good diet. You know, somebody said the size is the blend. I've never tried um, this size. So, let's see what happens. And, obviously, better price always makes any cigar better. Okay? Charging more does not make it better. Charging more always makes the cigar worse. Meaning the same cigar, $10, and charging 20 it doesn't make it better. It makes it worse. Uh, worse for the purse. Uh, I just, I, I can't, I can't stress it enough. Nobody, nobody should be paying gouge. Uh, you know, but the gouge of me is the gouge of you. So, wow, a huge Amazon factory about a mile long. There you go. So we'll all be working at Amazon pretty soon. And uh, we'll have no choice. So, <laughs> okay, anyways, um, full pack. I like the look of it. It is a very, if not almost a scuro looking wrapper. Very dark looking wrapper. A thick toothy wrapper, but it has a nice oily sheen to it. Um, $8.99 plus. So, draw is great. Uh, it's pulling great. Construction's good, yeah. Long, heavy finish. About 75%, oh, between that and 80%, so a little darker than three quarters, uh, dark. so it, it's a darker, strong cigar. It's got that going for it. Here's the issue. The flavor, the, the, the profile, um, it's not terrible, but it's not great. It's not easy to love like a Fuente Maduro Hemingway or a Fuente uh, you know, uh, Ejo, which is a real beautiful Maduro cigar. And it's not as forward uh, on the power, like the way it's hitting, like a Padron Maduro. But, but, the, but the Padron Maduro, although not extremely complex, the Padron Maduro is very concise. When you have a Padron Maduro 26 or 64, the earth, the black pepper, and the chocolate very it's very concise you, you can literally 
see it when you're smoking, like, wow, that's exactly what I'm tasting. And then a little cigar has some earth to it. When I say dirty on this cigar, I don't mean like earth. I mean dirty is like a, like a gritty, uh, grimy, uh, muddle, muffle. Almost a burnt taste. Yeah, son of a bitch. I mean, I wanted to love this cigar. I mean, for $8.99 for a beautiful Robusto with a nice band and this box breast with a nice dark wrapper. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot, man. It's not a, it's not a terrible cigar at all. But I, I can't stress it enough comparing it to so many other uh, great Maduro cigars. The uh, Rocky Patel Sungo Maduro is better than this uh, in the battle of, uh, of assholes. Um, yeah, the Rocky Patel Sungo Maduro is better. So, the 20th anniversary of the Shane Sungorn Maduro, they're not bad cigars. And if the cigars hit you, man, right, and smoke them, because you can get them pretty affordable. But, uh, and this thing is burning slow as hell. Uh, not getting a razor sharp burn, and uh, that should be happening, because, yeah, I mean, the, you know, the window's not open that much for the wind. Blending style or the tobacco is just under fermented, like the under under fermented. Um, the under fermented is this like Terminator? Come with me if you want to blend. I'll be blending. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I thought, I thought I was going to be enjoying this a lot more than, than what I'm doing. I really did. I was really hoping that this was going to be. Uh, a solid experience I never had in this size um, it tastes a little burnt or a little dirty <sighs> I'm going to say the same thing first off I had to do like two burn touch ups maybe three so uh, it is what it is with that. Uh, the cigar's not really wet at all. I mean, it came right out of the cellophane. Um, and, but it is what it is. Uh, maybe if I would have tried it out for a day, but whatever. That 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 I, it, the draw was fine. So I mean, if the draw is working fine. The cigar's not going out. Then at that point, a touch up is kind of cosmetic. Um, just the profile. Like it would have been a good profile if it didn't have like misleading. It was burnt. It, it, picture like okay. <clears throat> Picture uh, the kind of dirtiness where if you have a great song on the radio, but there's, an, there's static, you know, and you and you can hear the song and you know the song, but it, it really fucks up the clarity. That's what I mean by a dirty cigar or and the profile is muffled. So I wanted to light this cigar. It's going to get a 4.1. Um, it is not box worthy. The Podomo 20th anniversary <laughs> uh, Maduro. Um, I, I for the same price, I'd rather I would have rather had. Um, a Fuente, uh, Hemingway Maduro. Uh, you could have for it, you could have got one for my guy about eight bucks in the short story. To get this size, you'd have to bump up to maybe work of art, which probably would have cost about twelve bucks, whatever. But the point is, in the same price point or category, uh, yeah, the Sun Grow Maduro Rocky Patel was way better. Um, um, yeah, I'd rather have even like the uh. The all new uh, Maduro from uh, AJ, the diesel uh, vintage, way better cigar, around the same price point. So check that cigar out. The diesel vintage is phenomenal in Robusto and Toro. Ah, this cigar pissed me off. I really wanted to have a better experience. Later.